So here I am at the canvasdemos.com and I'm viewing this on the Nexus One. And so I want to go through the same applications that we did on the iPad. So the first one we went to is the 3D app. So let me go over here to 3D. And we chose the first one. And we're just going to go to the same page Obviously the viewing experience is a little different on a Nexus One, but here we have the uh, 3D rendering and it actually is rendering pretty fast, a little faster than the other one. So I can start and stop these. It's, yeah, it really seems to be going faster. So here we have the same HTML5 web content running on the Nexus One and uh, yeah, it seems to be doing better. Not as fast as the desktop version but it's definitely a little faster than the iPad. All right, let's go back and let's go to a game. And let's see, let's go over to Tetris. And on the iPad, this worked for a little bit, but then it, uh, quit working so let's see how well it does on the Nexus one so here I have it and it's not loading I'm not really getting I can't and I can't zoom or anything and I'm trying to zoom but it's not letting me and it's not working okay well this is kind of the experience we're getting with HTML5 in general so the other game, let's see, I think it was the Etch-a-Sketch, the Etch-a-Physics game. And so here we are loading this game, and obviously the screen size is not the same as the iPad, but it's loading in, and I'm zoomed in a little closer so I can actually see what this is. So I'll go ahead and get started choose the first level now I can't see the whole screen and I can't zoom out so that's kind of a problem but let's see if I can touch and draw Nope. it's placing the pen but it's not letting me draw in the desktop you know, if you've used this on your desktop machine, you'll actually be able to draw shapes, but it's not working. Let's go back to games, and the other game we wanted to see was the uh, chain reaction. See how well that runs on the Nexus One. Like I said, you got to try this on the desktop. It's pretty cool. Okay, chain reaction. Just start. Camera's going out of focus. Okay. If I choose, now I can zoom in and I can zoom out. And let's go ahead and place a ball. Okay, so it actually did place it and actually ran. So now we go on. So we get to uh, the next level. I need to get two out of so if I click, there we go, one. Oh, I didn't make it. Let's try that again. One more time. And let's place this ball. Hey, there we go, two. Uh, all right, and three, yes. So as you can see, it actually works. And uh, the game plays pretty well. It's a little slow but it actually, I can get some interaction. Same website, but on a different device. Nice, man, I'm doing awesome. Okay, let's go back and let's go to the apps. Let's do the video. See how well the video works. No, I want video. Well, there we go. I, Small screen size is a little 
bit of a challenge, but we'll get this figured out. Video? No, not Twitter. Video? Okay, we're going to get this right. And here we go. Video. There we go. I do like the iPads much, you know, it's much easier to navigate on pages like this. All right, let's go to this first video and see how well it works. And I don't see any video. And it's not loading, no indication. And there's really, there's no error. There's nothing that tells me that it doesn't work, but I discovered after looking at this that the reason it's not working is the video format that this website's showing is Og Vorbis, which is a specific type of format, and it's not working on the iPad or on the Nexus One. It's not supported. So this is what we get with HTML5 in its current form. Obviously, there's a lot of work to be done, and I really don't see this as the full web experience.